Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me at Lisa B Pilates. Today we are doing Pilates for posture, um, so really great if you do um, maybe a desk job and you sit a lot or you've just realised your posture could do with a little bit of um, improving. So let's get on with it. We're going to start with some stretches. So we're going to do hamstring stretch, glute strength, um, back strength. So come to kneeling, bring your right foot forward. So we're going to go into a little hip flexor stretch and then back to hamstring. So we're just warming up. So I'm not going to hold these stretches. They're not going to be static stretches just as we start. So posture improving, it's not just about sort of opening the chest area. Um, obviously we really have to work on our flexibility and our strength in the back. And then come up so that your knee is at a right angle to the ankle, relax the shoulders, take the arms up. So right arm, open it, follow it with your eyes, open as much as you can, really getting that stretch through the chest and close. And again, open and close. Good, two more. Keep the shoulders relaxed. One more. Good. And then place your hands down. Lift the back knee. Keep it down if this is too much. Left hand down, right arm opens. Look up. Good. And then bring that knee down. Come back up. And we're just going to swap sides. So take the left foot forward. So just go to hip flexor to hamstring, keep the spine long as you're moving through this. Good. And if your leg needs to be bent here, that's fine. And then bend that knee, bring the arms up, relax the shoulders. So left arm opens and close. Keep the shoulders relaxed and open. And close, two more. Last one. Good. And then lift the back knee if that's okay to do so. Right hand down, left arm up opens. Good, and then come down and come round seated. So you can sit on a chair to do this move. So tall spine, so open the chest, try not to be in that rounded position. Bring the arms out to the side, relax the shoulders. And then we're just gonna come over and into that side body stretch. Now really reach. I always forget to say at the beginning of the videos, but if you haven't subscribed, please do um, leave me your comments and then come over to the other side. Really reach again. Try not to be facing the mat. Good. And then come up and then we're going to come into a four point kneeling position. So we're going to do moving cat cow, so hands in front of the shoulders, so round the back, drop the bottom, and then come forward, think of the body like a wave, and bring the hips down, but again, don't force anything, round the back as you move back, lower the hips forward, good, one more. Good, and then come back into a four point kneeling position. So wrists under the shoulders, we're gonna make it a flowing thread in the needle. So take the left arm up and open, and then bring it under, bend the right arm, and move straight back into it. So open, use the breath. Three more, inhale. Two. And one. Good, let's go to the other side. Inhale, open. One. Two. 
Mm. Remember to breathe. And really deep diaphragmic breathing. Good. And then come back and let's open out the chest a little bit more. So right hand on the back of the head, just lightly. Inhale as you come in. Exhale, open. Five. Four. Make sure you're turning the head, opening out the chest. Three. One more. Good. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, open. For one, two, three, four, five, good. And then you're gonna come all the way down onto your stomach. So, hands probably a little bit wider than your mat so that you can feel relaxed and lie all the way down. So we're gonna take an inhale Exhale, belly in, squeeze the bottom as you lift. Just lift the chest and come back down. Inhaling, exhale, lift, belly in, squeeze the bottom, it is glutes as well. And down, inhale, exhale, lift. And down, and keep looking at the mat the whole time. And lift. And down. So what you can do now is lift the hands as well. So lift. Good, and lift. And lift. Good, two more. Last one. Good, now place the hands in front so you can rest your chin so warming up the glutes you see you're going to inhale as you lift the leg point the toe exhale down change sides inhale lift exhale down six more try not to bend the knee four more really squeeze that bottom Good. One more each side. Good. Now place your hands so they're in contact with the forehead. So take an inhale. Exhale, lift. And lower for eight. So I'm not resting in between. Seven. Six. Keep those elbows open. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. And then take your hands definitely wider than the mat now. Feet as wide as the mat. Toes turned out, heels in into swan dive. Elbows lower than your shoulders. So inhale. Now squeeze the bottom. You're going to come all the way up. Pubic bone stays on the mat, ribs come off the mat. Squeeze the bottom, come back down. Inhaling, exhale up, squeeze the bottom, relax your shoulders. Keep the elbows soft, so just don't lock out the elbows. Don't really push up with any speed. Don't use any momentum. This is really nice for posture. Squeeze in the bottom. Good, one more. Good, and come round. And then you're gonna bring your forearms to the mat. So elbows under the shoulders. You can make fists or your hands can be on the mat. Now lift your tummy off the mat. Again, pubic bone is down, ribs are lifted. So relax your shoulders. Bring your feet back to hip distance. So we're going to kick with a pointed toe and then a flex toe. Now keep your chest open here, belly lifted. So point, flex and down. And point, flex and down. 
And I would gaze sort of slightly down towards the hands, so the neck is in line with the spine. Point, flex, and down. Keep pulling the belly in. You should feel a nice stretch through the quadriceps, so for, through the front of the thigh. Point, flex, and down. Keep pulling the core in. Good, keep going. One more each side. Good, and then use your hands, bring them back by your ribs, elbows off the mat, so stay really low. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest, and back down. Inhaling, exhale, lift the chest, squeeze the bottom, and down, and lift. Now, if it's okay to do so, lift the hands off the mat, lower the hands, and back down, and lift, hover, down, and down. One more time, lift, hover, down, and down. Good, push back, knees wide, take a quick stretch. Good, and then come back up. So we're gonna now be on our forearms, we're gonna be working the glutes. Um, so glute strength is really important for your posture. So I like my hands together, you might like your hands apart. So keep the belly pulled in here, it is your belly working as well. So take the right leg back, tummy muscles in, straighten the right leg up and down for eight, seven, six, five, keep the neck long. Make sure the lower back isn't collapsing. Keep pulling the tummy muscles in for three, two, one, hold it up, bend the knee, little pulses with the knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now straighten the leg, lift it higher, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five circles, one, two, three, four, Five, reverse it, one, two, three, four, five. Now just come up only on your right hand, stay down on the left forearm, turn that leg out to the side, bring it to the a tricep and back for eight, seven, belly in, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift a little bit higher, last little pulses, eight, seven, six, really squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good, bring it down. And we're gonna go to the other side. I'm just turning around so you can see what I'm doing. So, back down on the forearms, left side, keep it nice and slow, left leg, take it back, point the toe, lower and lift for eight, seven, Keep the tummy muscles in and that will stop the lower back from moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, bend the knee, point the toe, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten it out, lift a little bit higher, eight little pulses, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Five circles. One, two tiny circles. Three, four, five. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Come up just on your left hand. Turn the knee out to the side. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good, hold, last little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and come down, nice. And then come round, and we're gonna be on our side. So, elbow under the shoulder, bend the knees. 
So we're gonna go into clamp. So keep this side of the body lifted. Don't sort of slouch into that shoulder. So think about the posture the whole time. Into clamp for eight. So just open the knee. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. So we're just working on that glute strength again. Two. One. Good. Now lift the knee and the foot. Five circles forward. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Reverse it for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Up and down. Foot as well for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Good, come up. And then take that stretch. That should feel quite intense over to that side. Good, and let's spin the legs round and we'll do the other side. So elbow under the shoulder. Think about this side body being lifted. Bend the knees. Let's go for eight, seven, six. Stay lifted here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, now lift five circles. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse it for one, two, three, four, Five, then up and down, foot as well for eight. Think about the posture, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. And then come up, take that stretch over. Good, and then come up and then come round to seated up with a nice tall spine so we're going to stretch out your hamstrings and your back so flex the feet if that feels good legs hip distance take an inhale exhale forward lead with the chest come back up inhaling exhale forward come back up one more time inhale exhale forward Good, come back up. Now feet together, place your hands behind you into reverse plank. So to modify, you would bend a knee and place a foot on the mat. So take an inhale, exhale, lift. Now squeeze the bottom belly in, open that chest. And come back down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Good, come back down one more time, inhale. Exhale, lift. Good, and come back down. And then you're gonna bring your right foot in as close as you can get it. And then place your right hand behind you. Now inhale, left arm up. Come across, look back over that right shoulder. Again, open up the chest. Good, and then come out of that. Let's do the other side, left foot in. Left hand behind you, right arm up and over, and twist. Come back to centre. So we're going to stretch out those glutes. So cross the left ankle onto that thigh, place your hands behind you. So this might be enough, really pushing that knee open, or drag the right foot in. You might be here, you might be able to get it a little bit closer and sit up nice and tall. So my left leg is on top, so I'm feeling this in the left side. So try and just breathe through this. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And really just send the breath to that left side. I know this, this stretch can be quite intense. Good, and then start to come out of that. Let's do the other side, so right ankle. Bring that left foot in. 
And then again, push that right knee open, tell the hips to relax, try not to fight the stretch. Just breathe. Good, and then come to a seated position. Again, you can sit with your legs out or sit on a chair for this. So hands on the back of the head, they're not touching, they're hovering behind the head. So open the elbows, you're gonna extend and bring them back again. Really nice to open the chest, open those shoulders for five, four, three, keep the neck long, two, one, now lengthen and twist. And again, center, inhale up, exhale, twist. Come back to center, do a big circle with the head. Change direction. And we are done. I hope you like that really quick little session for um, posture. Let me know your thoughts below. Um, hit the like button. And um, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon.